I'm Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got an exclusive review for you guys on Hitman Go. Now this is an official Hitman release, but it does have a completely different gameplay style to the conventional Hitman game. One thing that I found really interesting was the board game style gameplay. You will understand a little bit more when I jump into the gameplay, but the actual interface and the aesthetics of this game are beautiful. This is the main menu here, as you can see, very simplistic but it's called Hitman Go. So these are all of the different level packs here and you unlock them along the way and we've got some more coming soon as well. And as you can see, it does look like a board game. We jump into it and I have a few levels to complete. I've got through nine so far, or sorry, I've actually got through eight and I'm on the ninth level so far. So we'll jump into the ninth level, very quick loading times and it's a really interesting game. You can see it does feel like a board game. Pretty much it's a turn-based game. So as I move, so will the enemy as well. And there are certain points on the map that I'm trying to get to. So this point up here is the main mission point, the end point. And there are also briefcases to collect along the way. Uh, you can also collect distractions, which you can throw to distract the guards and distract the uh, enemies that are around you. So, very simple, you get some other weapons along the way. Uh, for example, if I throw this one, it will distract the guard and he'll face that way. And then as I move, he will move towards me. So I picked up the briefcase now and I can start moving, I have no idea which way he's going to go. Oh, he's turned back around, I think I'll go back down here. And now this part here is the tricky part, I think maybe, no that's not how you do it. <laughs> you can also rotate the entire board. Uh, just by dragging on the screen. The audio and the sound effects actually really enhance the gameplay. It really brings a new element to the game. And even though it is a simplistic board game, it does have a very dynamic feel to it. It's a, a very complex game actually, but at the same time, it's got simple gameplay mechanics and it's really easy to pick up. So I am struggling to finish this level. We'll try and get it here. I don't know whether I should maybe, oh, here we go. I can grab a distraction. Oh, idiot. I can throw the ball, which will distract the guard again. Now he'll start moving towards me. Oh, and I screwed it again somehow. I don't know what I'm doing. He should come down this way. There we go. Nice and easy. Sweet. There we go, and I got to the end. We'll jump into level eight. Now this was a really interesting level, and you've got a target actually for this one, and the Hitman symbolic music actually comes in, the, the conventional Hitman music that we all know and love, well hopefully we all know and love, and um, this one's a little bit more complicated. We have three guards here, and they've got a set pattern that they'll go on, so you pretty much just need to figure it out and uh, get through it. So this guy's gonna turn back. I'm not going to make it up there in time. So I need to pretty much figure out perfect timing here. Here we go, and now I can follow behind this guy. And it will zoom in a little bit to give you a nice cinematic kind of feel. And even though this is a board game, it does feel very elegant at the same time. It's got all those cinematic shots and the music, like I said. Everything just feels really right in this game. Um, I will have a link in the description below to check out this app. I'd love to know what you guys think of it. But so far I'm really enjoying it. It is a little bit expensive, but there is a lot of content in this game. Uh, that one I didn't collect the briefcase, so I didn't complete it 100%. But nonetheless, I did complete it. Let's check out number six now. Ah, this one. This one's a little bit of an interesting one. We have four guards here, and we have a set path as you can see. So if I throw the rocks, these guards don't actually move, they're just security guards pretty much, they stand around, but when I alert them, they start moving. So this is how you get through this one. Uh, you can actually get through a lot of the levels without killing anyone. But for example here, I think if I throw it here, I should get their attention, there we go. And they should start coming towards me now, so I can dodge them. And we'll get through this level without killing anyone. There we go. No kill. Awesome. So nice and simplistic, that one. Um, I'll jump into my latest level, level 10. Now I've only played 10 levels of this so far, but I have got a, quite a solid grasp of how the game's gonna run, and it's only gonna get more complicated as you progress through the game. And that's why I'm really excited to jump into this game a little bit more. 
Now I'm just gonna jump up here and grab the rock again. I can throw it there, which will distract two of them. Go down. Now, don't know how I'm gonna do this bit. Nice. Uh, maybe grab a rock over here, which won't even reach them, that's awesome. So I'll wait for him to come back. There we go, now I can distract all of them at the same time. Perfect. Okay, now let's get them a little bit nervous about the Hitman coming in. Nice. Okay, well, here we go. I can sneak through with no kills. I will not grab the briefcase, but it is still a level complete. 15 turns or less, awesome. And I didn't collect the briefcase because I got two out of the three objectives completed. I was actually really surprised to see this hit the App Store. It's a very unique style of gameplay, but it's a lot of fun, guys. It's got that board game feel, but it's also got the uh, beloved character, I guess, or the well-known character out of Hitman. The actual gameplay itself runs very smoothly with the Hitman universe, and they do enforce that you go through the level without killing anyone. It's one of the big things of Hitman. You can go in all gun blazing and you can unlock some weapons along the way but in terms of just the stealthy gameplay they've definitely nailed it with this board game and it's a really fun turn-based puzzle game I don't know what else you could class it as a very unique game but I'm really happy that they released this ah. anyway guys I would love to know what you think in the comments below this is a very unique game and a lot of fun to pick up I will have the link in the description below to check out this app and yeah, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I'm really enjoying it so far and I do recommend checking it out. If you enjoy that kind of gameplay, you may not enjoy it. It is a little bit slow paced, but it's a lot of fun and definitely check it out if you're into that style of gameplay. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like and comment and also make sure to enjoy the rest of your day everyone. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.